ओके सो नथिंग रिलीज इज द मोस्ट अवेटेड एंड्रॉइड फोर्टीन अपडेट फॉर नथिंग फोन टू विच इज द ऑफिशियल वर्जन एंड द वर्जन इज टू पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट जीरो इन दिस वीडियो विल टॉक अबाउट ऑल द चेंजेस वॉट नथिंग ब्रिंग्स फॉर नथिंग फोन टू विद दिस लेटेस्ट अपडेट सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी मोर टाइम लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो हियर आई हैव टू फोन टूवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट एंड साइड वी हैव नथिंग फोन वन एंड टूवर्ड्स द राइट एंड साइड वी हैव नथिंग फोन टू फॉर बेटर कंपेरिजन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी शो यू दिस सॉफ्टवेयर इन्फॉर्मेशन इफ यू गो टू अबाउट सेक्शन हियर यू कैन सी नाउ नथिंग ओ एस वर्जन इज टू पॉइंट फाइव पॉइंट जीरो If you go to Android version, Android version is 14, which comes with 5th October 2023 security patch. And if you guys wish to install, there is a APK given in the description below, which is provided by Nothing Team. You have to download that file called Nothing OS Beta Tool. Install it. Allow all the necessary permission. It will ask you to update. Tap on update. And once you have installed the APK, you just have to go to Settings, System, scroll down. You will find an option called Update to Beta Version. Soon you tap on it, you will see a preview of this, and later you just have to tap on check for the update, and you will receive an OT update of Nothing OS 2.5. The update size will be approximate 2.8 GB, which I received it on my Nothing Phone 2. And guys, now before moving ahead, if you guys like a content and if you think it's useful for you guys, then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So first, let's start with the home screen changes, and along with that, we'll also talk about quick setting tiles changes. So here you can see this is the new redesign quick setting tiles which you will find it on nothing phone 2 first change you'll see here and that's related to clock now clock have that nothing font format which is in dotted and if you scroll more down you can see the bigger tiles now got a square shape instead of this round shape and brightness slider thickness is also increased now so this is the change what you will see in the quick setting tiles after that another change is in the status bar that's related to charging indicator in the status bar so here you can see side by side example now soon you connect the charger you'll see a green color charging indicator which is similar to what we get to see on pixel smartphones launcher also got upgraded now the version is 2.5.1 previously it was 2.2.0 and which brings a lot of changes for example if i long press and go to widgets now here we get to see 16 widgets instead of 13 widgets which were present previously and new ones are compass also the photos widget which gives you two shapes circular and rectangular so you can drag this widget and place it on any of the screen from here you can add the photos whichever you want to add so for example i'll add this photo so this photo will be displayed on that particular widget and you can also select automatic shuffle there are three options on lock hourly or daily basis so this is one new useful widget what they have added and if you see here the photos also appears in the monochrome color but that can be changed if you go to settings from here you can turn off grayscale preview and then the photo will appear in color compass widget was already available and you can also add this widget on the lock screen that can be done by going to settings lock screen widgets and from here you can add that particular widget of photos later they have also introduced the new screenshot editor so let me take a screenshot and show you guys the changes so here you can see this is the new preview whenever you take a screenshot i'll show you the previous preview which we used to see on older version of nothing os here you can see so again let me click the screenshot and now you can see the new preview there are few new add-ons done let's talk about them so if i go back and again click a screenshot so here we get three options and we also get more advanced editing features previously system used to use google photos app for editing stuff and another change what nothing have mentioned that's the new back gesture on android 14 so here you can see if i use the back gesture Though the arrow shape is completely same but now we get to see this dotted arrow and this dotted line adds the nothing style they also say you can now hide the application icons from the home screen or the app drawer with a swipe right gesture but if you guys remember it was already available on the previous build also but they have mentioned in the change logs that's the reason i'm talking about the same so you can just swipe right and you can add whichever application you want to hide from the app drawer i mean to say the app icon and few other changes can also be found if you long press here and go to customization section here you can see now we have a completely different layout for the lock screen and for the home screen so it's nice to see nothing working on customizations previously we had this option under customization section then if you go to wallpaper and style 
we had lock screen and the home screen option but now you can see we have a complete different look from where you can directly make changes in the lock screen widgets you can also access the lock screen shortcuts and make changes tapping on more it will take you to the lock screen settings and the same thing goes for the home screen here we have the color profiles under basic now they have added a monochrome option which wasn't present previously if you see here under basic option we had only four colors but now we have a lot of color options added then under icons we have similar ui and similar stuff and a home screen layout nothing got changed but one thing you'll see now we also got a redesigned wallpaper section and which has this nice animation tapping on more wallpaper so if we go to wallpaper section here this was the layout which was present previously now on the top side we have a rectangular shape which says my photos and beneath that we have a completely redesigned ui with a larger preview and nothing have also added few solid color wallpapers which can be found here and under wallpaper section nothing have also added this new glass filter to make wallpaper more unique they also added more options under lock screen shortcuts so here you can see previously we had limited options but now we have things like video camera qr scanner mute torch device control dnd and camera so these are the options which you can set on the lock screen shortcuts volume panel also got completely redesigned now you can see we have a different pill for ringing mode and now it's also possible to set ringtone and notification sound volume separately previously that wasn't the option but now you can see we have a different ringer slider and media slider or you can say notification sound slider and later we also have the ability to take screenshot using three fingers which wasn't present on previous builds of nothing os so if you have enabled this swiping with three fingers you can take a screenshot now also with android 14 we do got the ability to customize double press power button so you can choose that thing from gesture settings if you go to gestures here you have an option called double press power button from here you can select few things like camera glyph timer torch device control qr code scanner apps and shortcuts it's again nice to see nothing adding more functionalities for power button we also have the predictive back animation which comes with android 14 by default it will be disabled you need to enable it by going to developer settings and now you can see predictive gesture in action i'm not sure it will work with all the applications for example let's take a look at the chrome so it's not working with chrome but it will work with applications like google stock dialer and the settings page and the last add-on with android 14 is under language section so now you have a regional preferences under language where you can customize the unit and number preferences so guys these are all the changes what we get to see with android 14 aka nothing os 2.5 i'll do a different video if i notice anything new and if you guys have any kind of questions you can let me know in the comment section below as of now only this much in this video i hope you guys are gonna like the video if you like the video then do give us a thumbs up and also if you're new to our channel then do not forget to subscribe the channel thanks for watching have a great day I don't wanna be a slave, I've been doing shit my way